Welcome into the Business on Purpose podcast. Scott Beebe, your host, the head coach of the founder. Hey, let's get you liberated from the chaos of working in your business and dive right in to a real live small business owner question that we got one from one of our heroic small business owners. And common sentiment, something that makes you feel a little bit overwhelmed. And the question was simply this. We get to uh, the process build portion of the four steps program. And we usually get a question similar to this. And that is, wait a second, do I have to document and record every process I do? <laughs> I'll never forget this. A friend of ours is a dental hygienist and a buddy of mine was in the chair and asked, uh, do I need to floss? And the response from the hygienist, she kind of, I guess, softly and sweetly said, you only need to floss the teeth you want to keep. <laughs> So the answer to the process question is kind of the same. You only want to process uh, or document and record the processes that you want others to be able to do for you, all right, which is every one of them. Now, before you get overwhelmed and freaked out and turn this podcast off, let me give you a simple strategy. One is called the systems mindset. That's what we live by. And here's here's what the systems mindset says. Whatever the next thing is you are about to do, document it like it's the last time you'll ever do it. Whatever the next thing is that you are about to do, document it like it's the last time you'll ever do it. And you can document it in multiple ways. You can document it by writing it down. You can document it by doing a screen recording. If you go to screen uh, screen flow for Mac, or actually it might be for PC now. If you go to use Loom, that is the easiest way to do it. Use Loom, L-O-O-M as in Mary, use Loom.com. Uh, it's free, it's simple, it's easy. We use it all that we've done thousands, literally thousands of videos on it. Um, and so you can document by just simply recording. Anything that's on the computer, you can record it. Um, and it's right there. And the beauty of that is it captures every little step. So you don't have to go through and think, you just do it. So if you're doing payables, just hit the screen capture and just do it. If you're doing some kind of software, uh, 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 software, you know, workflow that you would normally do on a day-to-day basis, just turn on the screen capture recording and do it. Other processes you might have to document down, but here's the reality: don't do it in a vacuum. Don't spend four days, you know, early in the morning till late at night trying to remember and then document it. Whatever the next process is you're actually about to do in your business then document it while you're doing it. It'll take you a few extra minutes, but those few extra minutes will yield a return that is hours and hours and hours for years and years and years. It is an incredible return on your time and money investment. So whatever is the next thing it is that you're about to do, document it like it's the last time you'll ever do it. If you can do that, you will be in great shape. Then you'll say, well, I've got all these processes. How do I get them out? Your weekly team meeting. Last five minutes of every weekly team meeting, pull up one of those processes and say, hey guys, just a reminder, as this process, where we're headed, what we need to do, et cetera, et cetera, and you'll be ready to rock and roll. Don't let it overwhelm you. And at the same time, don't get so overwhelmed that you just stop and not do anything. There is a process you're going to be doing today. There might be even a process you're doing right now. Document it. Why you do it, record it, record it by video, record it by writing it down, record it by audio, however you need to record it, doesn't matter. And it doesn't need to be clean or perfect. Just record it. And then when you record it, show up to your next team meeting and share it. That's where the training begins to happen. Such a powerful process. So the answer is, what processes do you need to document? Only the ones you want to delegate which should be all of them. (laughs) All right, guys, hope that helps. Go after it. Get that used Loom or ScreenFlow, some screen capture software. In fact, I'm going to give you a challenge. Make your first documented video today of a process that you have. That's what I want to challenge you on. See you next time on the Business on Purpose podcast.